What's going on, YouTube? Down here. I'm back playing some Elite Green version by myself. It's gonna be a randomized soul link. Or, not a soul link, because Sam's not here. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, going through all the various buttons. Blah, 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 blah. But, so basically, just wanted to run a uh, Nuzlocke by myself this time. So, I'm gonna go for it. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some reason, Pokemon are, for some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Alright, so we're going to be now tell me. Are you a boy or are you a girl? A boy? Let's begin with your name. What is it? And we're gonna go with John this time. Alright, cool. Right. So your name is John. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Uh, what was his name now? Alright, we're gonna call him Burry. Uh, was it Gary? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. John, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Alright. Let's grab our potion. Mustn't forget that. So in this first episode, all we're going to do is we're going to... Obviously, get through the main little, little tutorial first, and uh, we're gonna get our encounters. And so, basically, kind of on the same schedule as, like, episode-wise, as the as the Soul Link. I don't know when I'll upload this. I'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> All right, it's unsafe. All Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, yeah, come with me. I'm fed up with waiting! Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, John. There are three Pokémon here. Ah! The Pokémon I held inside these Pokéballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokémon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Alright, so what do we got here? We got Grumpig, which is a ground psychic type. I might actually go with Grumpig. Uh, Mew is kind of tempting, but it only knows Pound. Wormple. So, definitely going with Grumpig. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the Grumpig. So, as long as we don't have confusion, yes, we would like. To nickname this, uh, and it is a male. We're gonna call him Pop Belly. After a Pop Belly Pig. Alright. Probably a lot of other names. I'll take this one then. I'll take this one then. Alright, he got a Wormhole, so either way, we're gonna destroy him. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Wait, John. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Alright, so hopefully Grumpy has some um, halfway decent moves. Uh, sent out the oh. Pokemon. Alright, so Grumpy. What do we do? Level 5 versus level 6, a little more bold. Not really that big of a deal, honestly. There's a whole lot of crap I already know. Alright, so we know Splash, Side Wave, Side Beam, and Odor Suit. Wow, do we have some moves. I am not even mad about this. Alright. We're gonna knock out this one. Well, easy peasy. Although it was a Mew, probably would have been a little bit more difficult, but... Oh, wow, that's... 
that's a fun part of the order, actually. Uh oh. In game fix. Alright, so what is on this route? Oh, that's a Feraligator. I would be so happy with a Feraligator. Oh, we only have a Splat. So, if we run into a Dark type, it's not gonna be good. see what all else is in the route, and then the other part of me is like, let it be a surprise! Alright, let's go. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? And we got the parcel, aka Master Ball. Alright, I'm just rocking and rolling. through the grass. If we see another Pokemon, that's fine. If not, that's cool too. Well, I guess we're just going... Oh, no. Alright. So, for alligators and primates. So, not bad. The only problem with that, though, is that I know it won't survive a Psy Beam. Although, I think Psy Wave is a set damage, if I'm correct. So, I'm gonna check out... Oh, we never did check out Carnage. Oh, yeah. Moo Moo Milk! <laughs> nice! Uh, it's a bashful... Home tempo prevents confusion, that's nice. 20 special defense. It's actually pretty well balanced. I'm not mad about that. Alright, what does Psy Wave do? What was attacking with an odd hot energy wave that varies in it? Oh yeah, that's right. That's the one that can get all the way up to like 120 base power. Although that's still going to be super effective against Primate. So, can't use it. Oh, John! How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing while attached to you. You must be talented to the Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. And we delivered the parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokemon. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps! Oh, sorry. Well, I almost forgot what did you call me for. Oh, right. I have a request for you, too. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. John and Gary, take these with you. And we got the Pokedex! 
You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain the complete data. So here, are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And the lock has begun! By Pokeballs. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This will always work, however. An elder Pokemon can escape. You must have to be lucky. Make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. When I'm too old, I just can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright. Alright, Grimms. Leave it all to me. John ain't saying that you will be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a towel map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, John. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. And in RPG terms, that means definitely go here. <clears throat> Alright. So. Let's grab a town map. Grandpa has you down there. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Alright, got a town map from Daisy. So, little known fact. Whenever I first did my first ever playthrough of Red and Blue. Or I had Red, because I love Charizard. I love Charizard. Anyway. Yeah, I never got the town map in my first playthrough. So I was like, where is... Where is this at? <laughs> I, I was little John. Alright, and our encounter is... Yes! We got the Feraligator. That makes me happy. Alright, so... Let's side beam this. And hopefully it lives. Please live. Please live. Okay. Alright, so... Can't really do much of anything. Now we just have to hope that it... Come on for alligator! Oh, you'll be so nice to add. Ah, uh, only one. Only bad part is that I only really have five Pokeballs, so... Definitely have to buy some more Pokeballs when I lose back. I, I just hope we can actually catch this, because this is a stage two. And we got it! Nice! Alright. So our first encounter is a Feraligator. Which is pretty cool. I can live with a Feraligator. As I said, it's one of my favorite mods in my set. Plus the good thing about this route is whenever it comes to grinding, I don't want to get the experience points for Pot Belly yet. Switch training yet with Raligator yet. Because I want to get our other three encounters. The one should get first. So we're going to heal, grab a couple more, probably like ten more Pokeballs just to get on the safe side, and then uh, get our last three encounters. And that will be this episode. And then for the next episode, there will be a nice little grinding montage. Because Sam was so nice enough to bump up the difficulty on this by 10%. So, you need to go on with about level 8-ish eight, eight, eight ones. Alright, so let's buy some more balls. Now uh, we have 3, let's just buy 7 to so 10. Alright, so, got a couple more encounters. And we also have an item to get. So, let's do that. This item is not kind of in the soul mix that we've done. And we got a deep sea tooth. Yay! Useless. Oh, I totally forgot to check out for alligator. Let's see. There's I already know the water gun, so. That's nice at least. You like a water gun. I wonder what level Rumpig learns the Psychic Atlas. I'm also surprised it doesn't have a huh. Bellsprout. Okay, well, I definitely cannot use uh, Psychic on this, or uh, Psybeam on this thing. 
still just a little Pokemon. Hopefully it'll catch it. If not, uh, I kind of don't. Yeah, I don't think I can then go into Brow here. Uh oh. Alright, come on, Bell Sprout. You know you want to. Yeah? Yeah, you know you want to, Bell Sprout. Oh, come on. Uh. Alright. Come on, Bell Sprout. Stay in the book. Love, third member of the party. You know you want to. Fun, amazing, super awesome time. Yeah. Alright. I already know what we're gonna do. This this is going to be uh it's gonna depend on if it's male or female. It is a male, so it's gonna be ah after the anime. I can't really make the ah noise, but anyone that's watched the anime and seen Victory Bell eat uh James, you know, it's that one. <laughs> Alright, we should be good on Pokeball, so we only use three, so we have seven left. We can get this encounter up here, and then we'll see how we're doing. Blah 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 blah. I've already caught two. I caught a Rallygator and a Bellsprout. You are showing me nothing. Oh, that's a bug. He's gonna catch that first Pokeball. Yeah, you're gonna catch it first Pokeball. That's crazy. Yeah, go ahead and just random. I wish it was that easy. Alright, can you please leave me alone now? That'd be great if you just leave me alone. Uh... Alright. Away we go. So our route to encounter is... Drumroll, please. Alright, that's not bad. I'll take the tail Still don't think it'll survive a, uh, side beam from Grumpy. So, so we'll just fall at it and hope for the best! And, one more ball is all it takes. Let's go! Okay, so that works now. Now we can just go to the chalk. 
also why it's... It looks like for alligator just has a play. Alright, let's just get out of water. Because I want to get some damage on it, I just don't want to get too much out. Oh yeah, that's right. So barring a crit, this should bring it into the yellow or the well, obviously definitely into the yellow and the red. Alright, so now we have water gun. Alright. I only have two Pokemon. Status effects, but no, I have them. Alright, come on. Come on, Dratini! Stay in the Pokeball! You know you want to do some happy fun adventures for Dragonite. Boom! We got it! Alright, man, the team is looking really good right now. I'm actually really liking where we're at right now. Alright, and we are going to. So I figured that'll probably be better at the beginning of the next episode anyway. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!